Well, Lee, was that a good workout for you this evening? Yeah, very good. You know, to get the first 90 minutes under the belt, so it was good and against a tough opposition as well. They gave us a good game, but you know, in the end, we've got a good, good draw, and I think you know we probably deserve to get the win as well. Mm -hmm. And you're on the score sheet yet again. Tell us about the goal. <clears throat> Just a great delivery from Mitch. Managed to get in the back post, head of the uh, left back, um, and just an easy tapping. You got to be that type of man. The manager singled you out tonight, and you know we thought you were arguably Blues' best player. Did you, did you feel that out there on the pitch? Did you feel in, in good nick? Yeah, I feel sharp. I felt sharp since the first day I've come back. <clears throat> Worked very hard over the summer. Um, you know, done a lot of work um, to come back sharp. You know, very dis disappointing season last year, so. I, I want to come back with a point of proving, you know, hopefully I'm doing that in pre-season, hopefully I can you know, push myself in the manager's plans. I guess through no fault of your own, you, you didn't get a game because the manager obviously kept a, a settled side and it was doing well the second half of the season, so I guess you were a bit a frustrated bystander as it were. Yeah, no one likes not to play, you know, it's the worst part of being about a footballer, but at the end of the day, you've got, you know, I'm old enough, wise enough to know that the team's doing well. You know, Clayton playing the position he was, you know, he was unfair, deservedly did get all the player awards, but... Uh, it's a fresh start now and hopefully I can prove a point. I'm going to say, do you think you have made a, an impact so far this pre-season, not just with your work on the training ground, but out there on the, the field of play as well? hope so. That's a, that's the a aim to you know push, a, push yourself in the gaffer so I'm not the only one that wants to do that. You know, It's a very tough squad and I imagine the gaffer will be adding to that. So you know, it's always good to have competition for place, but hopefully you know, I've pushed myself in the, in the gaffer start. Mm -hmm. And obviously we know you can play a variety of roles. You're a, wide right to start with this evening and then play down the middle towards the end of the game. Yeah, you know, the manager said, you know, um, that I was going to be playing out wide and I'm more than happy as long as I'm playing. You know, I'll play anywhere. As you've seen, I played in goal as well. So, you now I'm more than happy as long as I'm in that starting eleven on the 8th of August. I'll be a happy man. And what of the season? What, what are your thoughts? I mean, can you sort of carry on and kick on from the way that you finished the last campaign? That's the aim. We've spoke about it as a group. Um, you know, if someone had said when the gaffer come in, you'll finish in the top ten. You would have thought they were crazy, but we've had a great start to pre-season, and you know we're looking for, to push on. You know, there'll be new additions as well, I would imagine. So hopefully, we can we can just push on from last season and get in and break into that top six. Because the group does seem quite settled. You, you mentioned yeah, there might be a couple more coming in, but it does seem a settled group. There's a bit of continuity there as well, which has got to help. Yeah, it's a, it's a great group of lads, you know, you ask the new signers how easy they've settled in, you know, we, we all make, make them welcome and, you know, we're, it's practically the same group that we had last year, um, but we're just looking to push on now and hopefully have a good start of the season and, and who knows what will happen.